first of all, let's hear a little bit of music from the track from Gabby Young and Other Animals. We're all in this together. And we're all in this together. And I won't get out of love. And they'll call you up and tell you that I. As Gabby Young and other animals, we're all in this together. Delighted to say that Gabby's on the phone now. Hello, Gabby. Hello, Hello, Gabby. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. I can't believe that you. It's it's now what? Well, October last year, wasn't it that you were in? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. What have you been doing since then? Have you been busy? Oh, really busy. Yeah. We just got back from Glastonbury, so that was absolutely wonderful. And, great. Uh, we did a nice big show on the Avalon stage to about 800 people. Oh, that must have been really great. Yeah, it's kind of the pinnacle moment of our career so far. We got a bit emotional, and <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we. We've been really, really busy. We've been uh, working on new stuff and, uh, you know, we've got, we've got lots coming up this summer. We've got Good. about 12 other festivals to do. So. Well, that'd be exciting. Now, look, tell me about this campaign. This is really interesting. What's the point of it? Well, Storm the Charts was something that we kind of discovered kind of bit by bit through the internet and more people started talking about it on the sites like Facebook and uh, and Twitter and things, just saying, you know, there's this... The, the guy that, that did the Rage Against the Machine becoming number one. Yeah, I remember Christmas, that. Um, wants to support, you know, up-and-coming bands, which was something that... Which is that really good. Record. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always interested in those kind of campaigns, whether I'm going to be part of it or not, just because it shows that people want to hear something different in the charts, which is always good for us, because, you know, we're independent artists trying to do something a bit different and um, when there's support it's, it's always a good thing Alright, well look Gabby good luck with yours OK, it's, we're Thank all in this so together much. OK, Gabby Young and Other Animals lovely to talk to you Gabby You too, take care Alright, OK, all right. bye-bye Nostalgia is the next one this is by Emily Barker and the Red Clay Halo Crow fly Be my alibi And turn Nostalgia by Emily Barker and the Red Clay Halo. Hello, Emily. How are you this morning? Hello. I'm good, thanks. How are you going? I'm very good. I mean, I know that piece of music so well because mm. I am a massive Wallander fan. I see. It's the theme from Wallander, isn't it? It is indeed. How did you get? How did that? Uh, how did that get picked for the series then? Um, Oh, well, I'm being an independent music uh, musician, um, I've got my own label and release my own records, and we did a bunch of house gigs um, all over the country in order to raise money to release our last album, Despite the Snow, which Nostalgia is on. And at one of these house parties, there was a composer, Martin Phipps, who was doing the score for the entire series, and he heard that song and really loved it and oh, rang me well up a few done. days later and said, can I please use that song for a BBC One series starring Kenneth Branagh? <laughs> and I've, I've actually never owned a television in my life, so I said, and being from Australia, I went, yeah, sure, who's he? <laughs> but um, it was, it's been wonderful it for us. It has, I bet it has. It's a lovely, haunting piece of music, and it actually yeah, works you. really well with that television programme. Now, how's your song doing? Because it's in this um, Storm the Charts idea. How's it doing? It's doing well. It's been in the top ten of the folk charts for the last week and uh, uh, it's a bit hard to keep a track but it, it is doing really really well sort of in the folk genres and as well as um, yeah on iTunes in the and do, do you like this idea of this campaign I absolutely love it it completely just goes with my attitude and ethos towards my music I've always really believed in independent music and and sort of grassroots campaigning and people word of mouth and um, yeah. just trying to 
get consolidate people and gather them and um, so yes I really have loved being a part of it this week it's been a well, real buzz just trying to see what we can all achieve and yeah it'll be great won't it well good luck with it Emily Thank and the much. nice thing is I understand that you are going to come I know it's a long way away but you're going to come on this show uh, beginning of next year well, yeah I think Feb the February 13th. I yeah, looking forward to it, yeah, Emily. Looking forward too. to meeting you. And good luck with the record. Thank you very much. Lovely to Thank talk you to you. Bye-bye. Bye. And finally, let's uh, hear from Revere. And uh, we've had them on the show, of course. You'll remember, we won't be here tomorrow. That's Revere, and we won't be here tomorrow. Now, they play the show here in the studio in April, and the lovely Stephen is... Uh, Stephen Ellis is on the phone. Hello, Stephen. Hi, Sally. How are you doing? I'm good. That is such a great track, that one. Thank I you love well. it. I mean, it's really great. And, you know, this is so important, isn't it, getting independence into that, that top 40 chart. Do you think it's realistic, though, or is it just a stunt? Um, I, don't, I don't think that really matters at the end of the day. I think it's more about uh, just creating a little bit um, more of a buzz about these sort of upcoming bands. I mean, it's not like we're taking complete unknowns here. The Emily Barker track, as you said, is already used in Wallander, and uh, she's already doing really well on her own. And Gabby is another person who's clearly kind of got a lot of uh, musical business sense around what she does because she's managed to do really well again without any major label interest. So I just think it's it's more about mm. saying that it's it's a lot easier nowadays to get that attention around these uh, unsigned acts. I think it's a brilliant idea. I mean, I really do because I think it's going to hype. It's going to give you a sort of a slightly different profile as well, isn't it? In so in the sense that those people who you know might suddenly sort of think, oh, top forty, oh, this is in here, don't know who they are. You know, it's it's that that's quite interesting. Yeah, and the response that we've had um, definitely reflects that because we've we've been getting loads of emails and and Twitters, I guess, and and comments on our videos on YouTube, all from people saying, you know, just come across you by the Storm the Charts thing and absolutely love it. Yeah. I don't know why we haven't heard of you. And, you, and of course, just very quickly, you did the Glastonbury, of course, uh, with Gabby, and I hear you played along with Al Stewart. I mean, what was that like? Oh, it's amazing. It's always a pleasure to play with Al. Uh, Gabby and I were fortunate enough to go out to the US and, and play with him last year. Um, and then toured with him in the UK as well. So when, when we found out he was playing Glastonbury, um, uh, we waited for the phone call, and, he, and sure enough, he came through for us, and we, we went and joined him on the acoustic stage. It was incredible. <laughs> nice guy? Uh, lovely guy. Absolutely. One in a million. Stephen, listen, good luck with the track. OK, Thank we won't so be much. here tomorrow. Lovely to talk to you, and hopefully we'll see you on the show again soon. Definitely will. All right, bye-bye, Stephen. Bye Thank you. All right, so there you've got it. Those three tracks. We're all in this together by Gabby Young and Other Animals. Nostalgia by Emily Barker and the Red Clay Halo. And We Won't Be Here Tomorrow by Revere. Now, look, if you want to find out more about the campaign, it's a really interesting campaign, and uh, want to know where to get the tracks, just go to stormthecharts.wordpress.com. Stormthecharts.wordpress.com.